hi guys welcome back to my channel it is December guys oh my god I'm still shocked at how fast it has gotten here but I'm excited nonetheless first things first let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room my voice I am sick it is awful I have been sick for like going on four days now I'm actually better than I was that's why I'm filming this video but I also have a cough drop in my mouth so I apologize for that but if I didn't, I don't know if I would be able to get through this video at all. <laughs> um, it's been an awful four days, y'all. Like, I've had a sinus infection, headache, body aches, chills, um, sore throat, the, the, whole, the whole shebang. My diet has basically consisted of Dayquil, NyQuil, and Theraflu. But I am slowly getting better. So, so to kick off the holiday videos that I have planned, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial, of course. And I wanted to use my Prism palette because y'all know when I got this that I said I wanted to do a few different looks from it. I did um, a look when I first got it. I used it in my Thanksgiving tutorial and then I used it today. I wanted to do something kind of cold and icy and, and, and wintry and this. I think the blues and the purple are perfect for the winter holiday season. So, that's why I chose to go with this today. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Oh, I thought that makeup would help, but clearly it's not helping at all. I still look like death. I have my cough drops and my tissue. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. I have my foundation and my eyebrows done. I actually had intentions on coming in here and doing a full face with you guys. But, because of my current health situation at the moment, I just might scare some people. And I'm not trying to do that. But if you're interested, the foundation that I have on today is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And I'm in the shade Warm Sand. And my brows are the same. Nothing has changed. I have done a brow tutorial. Some of you may have already seen it. If not, I will link it down below. So with that being said, I'm going to be grabbing my ABH Prism Palette. I'm going to be going in with the shade Lure. This uh, mauve color right here. I'm just going to start buffing that into my crease. Okay, and next, going in with a more tapered blending brush. This one is just from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with the shade Parallel. I'm just going to start focusing that right below the shade Lure in my outer V. Just to deepen everything up just a little bit. So next, I'm just going to go in with the shade Osiris right here. I'm just going to take that on the eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to start packing that on the inner and outer corners of my eye. Because I want to create kind of a halo eye effect. Now I'm just going to go back in with the shade Lore one more time. to help smoke out the edges and blend everything so it's no harsh lines. So next, I'm going to be going in with this NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm just going to dibby dab... <laughs> I'm just going to be dabbing that directly on the center of my lid. So directly on top of that glitter glit, I'm going to be going in with the shade Dimension. Right there. See that shade right there? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I'll be placing that all over the center of my lid. You don't have to use a glitter glue at all. These shades in this palette are extremely pigmented and they will go on just fine with a brush or you can dab them on with your finger. This is just what I chose to do. This isn't actually like a legit glitter pigment or anything like that, but the reason why I wanted to go ahead and go in with an actual glitter glue, it works for shimmers the same way that it does for glitters. Helps them stick a lot better, helps them, helps with fallout, you know, all of that. Right, that's basically it for the top so moving on to the lower lash line I'm just gonna go in with that darker blue shade right here called Osiris I'm just gonna start rubbing that all the way across I swear I love going in on my lower lash line like there's nothing like it the same way lashes kind of like tie in eye look I feel like the lower lash line does the same thing because even though I'm not quite done yet do you see the difference this one's like hi but this one's like 
tell me I'm lying. I'm not. You can't. Lower lash line totally makes a difference. If you are not used to doing your lower lash line, start. Start right now. Alright, and then I'm just going to be going in with the shade Dimension again. And just how I put it directly in the center on top, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the bottom. Just in the center. Now I'm just going to be going in with the black in the palette. It's called Obsidian. I'm going to be taking that and creating just a little bitty wing on the outside. I'm not going to do liquid liner today because I don't want to take away from the eyes look. So we're just going to take that black eyeshadow and just dab on just a little baby wing. Maybe. <laughs> oh, she's pigmented. I forgot. Just a little something thing. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just kind of smoke that out just a little bit. So that way you can still kind of tell it's a wing, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. Maybe I'm not making any sense. Which is very, very possible at this point. So now I'm gonna pop on some lashes really quick off camera. Speaking of lashes, y'all, y'all see my last makeup tutorial. The eye look was fine with those lashes. I was not having it. I hated those. No. Mama restocked, okay? And the ones I'm going to be using today are the Ardell Double Demi Wispies. This is what they look like. Gorgeous. What I like about this specific style is these look like really expensive luxe lashes, but they're not. So these are the Double Demi Wispies. Get you something. BAM! Now that is an eye look. So I went ahead and put on some mascara, lashes, and also some black eyeliner. On my lower, 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 <laughs> on my lower waterline. Y'all, I'm struggling. This sickness has me struggling, but I was determined to power through. And that's what I'm going to do. So, moving on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this teeny tiny little brush here from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be grabbing the shade Lucid right here. I'm going to be placing that on my inner corner. Okay, now I'm just going to be going in with some mascara for my bottom lashes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm also going to take that same color, Lucid, and put just a little bit underneath my brow bone to highlight that area as well. Just a little bit though, because that color is pretty intense. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it in person, so that's all that matters. Alright, finally moving on to the rest of the face. Same old Black Radiance Bronzer here. This is in the shade Rich Mahogany. Still haven't gotten a new one though, so that's great. Blush, same palette as always. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Sugar and Spice palette. And we're going in with these two shades right here. I'm just going to mix them together down with the swirl and put it on my face yeah and it might snow today folks because we do have a different highlighter though this is um, by sleek makeup it's a little highlighting palette because with two powder highlights and two cream highlights and this is the Cleopatra's kiss these two are creams and then these two are powders. So I'm gonna take my finger and grab this cream shade right here and start applying that to my cheeks. Okay, natural glow. She is pigmented, that's for sure. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Dab a little bit down the nose. Okay, Cleopatra's kiss. All right, so now just because 
I want to be extra and we can never get enough glow, even though that is gorgeous on its own. I mean, but we need more. So I'm going to go in directly with the powder that's right beside that. And it's this shade right here. I'm going to take it on my normal highlighting brush. This is by e.l.f. Yeah. Woof. Thank you, makeup gods, for highlight. Can we all get an amen? Can we get an amen? I'm gonna dabble that into the skin just a little bit. Just so it melts right on in. Because you are here to stay, honey. Yes. I just want to bathe in it. Mm. Woo! All right. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I think we're done. Oh! Lips, how can we not forget the lips, you idiot? Of course my pencil wouldn't be sharpened. So I'm just here sharpening away. As you know, we're never prepared like we're supposed to be. So, first things first, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner Pencil in the shade. Soft Spoken. So I'm just going to go directly on top of that with this little Makeup Forever a lipstick I have here. It's a little sample that I have that I got free when I purchased something in the shade Artist Rouge. Looks like this here. She's gorgeous. She's very, very classy looking. She's also very pigmented and very smooth. And then just to add a little bit more of a gloss, I'm going to go in with this NYX a Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And of course, we can't forget about our setting spray, obviously. This is by Morphe. Alright guys, this is a completed look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. All the makeup used today will be down in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Hope you all have a happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Think that I'm a fool. Girl, do not try to sing. You know you cannot sing at all, and especially not with this frog voice. Honey, please. Need another cough drop. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks. Thanks. You ruined it. Y'all didn't hear that. That's sick.